Hey everybody, welcome to the next episode of World Building with DM Dave. I'm your host, DM Dave. In this series, if you haven't been watching already, we are taking uh, some dice and logos maps. We are converting them into color using Dungeon Draft, and we are eventually going to have them in a uh, live action campaign that can be running with my patrons. Uh, if you would, and if you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, if you want to check out some of my adventures, um, go over to patreon.com forward slash dmdave. All right. So when we last left off, I had finished tracing all of uh, Dyson Logos' dungeon level, or part of his uh, Megadelf call, this map that you see here, called the uh, Morlock Retreat. <clears throat> we turned it into two layers. I went ahead and exported it from Dungeon Draft. It crashed shortly thereafter, so I ended the video. But uh, yeah, all you have to do is just go to File, export it into the one ways you want, and then you have JPEGs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Photoshop. Uh, you can see I'm terrible and I have a million tabs open <laughs> for other projects that I am working on. I'm going to go ahead and get my Megadelf maps. Open up both of these guys here so you can take a look at the final versions of these maps. Now if you don't have Photoshop, you're not you know particularly good with Photoshop, you don't need to do this extra stuff like I'm going to do here. But um, I like to just kind of like fiddle around with it and make sure it looks pretty good in post-production, plus get rid of some like of the extra stuff that I don't need here. Okay. So in my Photoshop, I've opened up the JPEG here. I'm going to go ahead and set my grid up so that it is nice and even. I've already got it at 140, so I saved this image as 140 um, pixels per inch which fits perfectly into roll 20 which normally measures everything by 70 this gives it a little bit more high definition I'm gonna put on four subdivisions so it cuts it up in nice fours and then if you hit control H you can see that we've got everything here right and this will more or less line up to the same measurements that we had with Dyson's uh, now that I've got this kinda laid out like that actually let's turn out the subdivisions real quick so we can get an even clearer look at it. Let's go ahead and put it to one. And you can see this is kind of like the way the grid will look out in the final um, version of it. So pretty big map. I want to um, get rid of some of this excess, this dead space. So I'm going to take my marquee tool and I'm going to highlight and leave about two inches on each side. Actually this one, if you remember, runs off the map. So I'm going to have this run off the map just like that. That should be good. I'm going to go to edit and oop, image I mean and I'm going to crop. Boop. And that cuts everything off just like I want it. Okay. I got a nice tidy little map here. Um, what I'm going to do is check my image size real quick to see what we've got. We got 6860 by 5320. So that's 6860. If we divide that by 140, that is 49. So it's going to be 49 grid squares by 38. So 49 by 38. I'm going to write that down real quick. So when I go to upload it in my um, in Roll20, I can get it nice and tight. So 49 by 38, and that is my upper level. Okay. Okay, that one is done. Let's go ahead and get this guy here. This one's a little bit smaller. This is the level that goes under that last one that I had. So again, we're going to turn on our H. We're going to hit Control H so we can see our grid. I am going to leave again to each. Cut off this one here because it goes off the map. I think that's good there. Let's image and crop. Now remember this, if you remember, this one up here connects um, to uh, this right here. So what I want to do is actually I'm going to go ahead and turn on my brush tool. I'm going to give it a nice soft edge with black. And I'm going to blot that out so it looks like it goes into darkness, right? And you know what? We'll do the same on this guy here too. 
because remember that goes down a level as well. So now you see that it's got some cool stuff that goes off edge. It's telling me that it should go, um, it should go off the side. Let's go ahead and save this. We'll save this as upper edit. Okay. And if I wanted to do some other stuff, like add some filters and things like that, I could. I think this is good enough. Um, make sure that your images are below 10 megabytes if you're going to be putting it into Roll20 or really anything else. Any more than that, Roll20 will just say no. <laughs> so you want to have it like measured, right? Let's do the same thing with this. We're going to block black this guy out real right here. That's where the other map connects, and we're going to do the same with the staircase there. That should be good. Okay, we'll go ahead and save this too. Uh, let's see, JPEG, we'll call this lower edit. Yeah, one megabyte, perfect. And uh, let's get our image size real quick on this guy. So 3,500 uh, divided by... 25 and then 3640 a little bit taller this time I think that's the 26 okay so 25 by 26 for the lower level awesome all right so that's we've just done a tiny bit of editing in Photoshop you don't have to do this extra level you could do some of it in dungeon draft just by reshaping the map or you could use another uh, tool of your choice I'm a Photoshop expert so I'm going to use what I've got. Plus, as you can see, I usually have it open. All right, so next thing, we are going to open up our Firefox. I'm going to go to Roll20. Um, make sure that you have an account if you don't already have one. It's free to get started. Some of the bells and whistles have a um, an annual subscription. But in this case, I'm just going to go, um, I've, I've got, you know, like the premium super duper edition because I'm a professional in Roll20 with over 80 products on there. <laughs> um, I'm going to create a new game. And uh, we are going to call this, I don't really have a name for you. So we're going to just, let's just call what it is, Dyson's Mega Delve Campaign. All right. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to turn on my 5th edition character sheet. This tells Roll20 that I want to have all of my 5th edition compendiums automatically loaded into it. So that's going to be pretty important. And then that's pretty much all I need to do. Let's go ahead and click I'm ready to create game. This will end up creating our new game for us. Uh, I can invite players and do whatever. But all I really need to do is just launch the game now because I'm going to be putting in um, my maps real quick. So Roll20 is creating a brand new uh, campaign for us. I'm going to make some quick settings real quick. Um, go over to your settings tool here. Let's turn off pan and put on zoom. That way with the scroll wheel I can zoom out. And uh, as beautiful as I am, I don't know that I want to look at my face the whole time. <laughs> kind of, I, I, I get too distracted obviously. Um, so I'm going to turn that just into my bar here. All right, so now I've got my basic first map. And you'll see in our toolbar here, we got create new page and just the start window here. I'm gonna go create a new here. And we're gonna say Morlock Retreat. Uh, let's do the upper, because that's the entrance. Now remember, we wrote down our dimensions on a little pad here. I'm gonna open up this guy here, and I'm gonna put in those first dimensions there, which is 49 by 38. I'm going to go ahead and do some other settings real quick too. I'm going to turn on my dynamic lighting. Okay. And uh, normally I, I used to use legacy lighting all the time, but they are deprecating that, so they'll no longer be available. So, kind of just have to get used to it. <laughs> and I'm going to turn on daylight mode too, so I can kind of see in the dark. But I'll probably go back and change that so it's dark and spooky. Uh, all my settings look pretty good. I might change my grid size for when I draw dynamic lighting, but I won't worry about that right now. Movement, let's go ahead and turn that on. Uh, don't really need audio yet. Don't really need to change anything else. We'll just go ahead and save our settings. And you can see we've created a new map. It's grayed out because it's telling us that uh, dynamic lighting is going to be on this map. All right, next thing, we are going to go to our art library here. 
we're going to click on my library and I'm going to upload our images. So we're going to choose our files. Let's go to our our tools here and we want the edit ones, right? And we want the upper. So let's go ahead and double click that. And let's go ahead and get the lower going while we're at it too. It's going to take a minute or two to upload, um, mostly because Oklahoma hates the fact that I'm always uploading stuff. But ah, cool, they uploaded fast. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, Oklahoma, shouldn't have dissed you. All right, so we've got a two more like maps already loaded in here. Maybe these are the ones that we created through our stuff. Pretty nifty, right? Let's go ahead and grab this guy, and we're gonna. Uh, whoops, I don't want my start. We want to go to our Morlock Retreat, don't we? So let's delete that. Alright, there we go. So, what happened was I was on the wrong... wrong thing, totally. But we want to go to this guy here. And I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop him into there. Oops, I put him on the wrong layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to Layer, put it on the Map Layer. I'm going to go over here to my Toolbar, switch to maps and backgrounds. We're going to zoom in real quick. Click on this, hit advanced and set dimensions. Click over to units because remember we wrote down our units and just type in that same number again that you have on your little pad there. So 49 by 38. You can write down the pixels too if you prefer, but the units are usually a little bit easier to remember. Uh, make sure we line our image up there. Pow. That's it. Look, we got our our little dungeon in place. It's already got a grid for us. Looking pretty darn good so far. Let's go ahead and add our second map. So Morlock, Retreat, Lower. All right. Do the same things here. We're going to adjust our size so it's right. So this one's 25 by 26. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on our dynamic lighting barriers to restrict movement. And we'll go to dynamic lighting, turn on dynamic lighting, and daylight mode. All right, here we go. Grab the lower, make sure we're on our map layer this time. I made the mistake last time. Drag and drop it into here. Go to advanced, set dimensions, 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 and resize. There we go. And that is it. We got that. Now we've got our two levels here. Um, looking pretty good so far. So we've got our two levels. That's all we really need for now. That's all I'm going to do for this episode. So remember in this one we've um, we've taken and we've made some Photoshop adjustments after we've exported from Dungeon Draft to just kind of get some of the details that we want in our finished map. That is optional. You don't have to do it if you don't understand Photoshop or you don't have Photoshop. Um, you can do it with other editing software, of course, uh, MS Paint, even if you want. Um, but you can always forego that. But what I've done after that was I in, opened up Roll20, put my maps in with the correct sizes. Next, we're going to draw dynamic lighting for it and show you kind of how that works and some cool tricks to do it really easy and fast. And then from there, we're pretty much going to have our map set up and we're going to start planning. So anyways, I'll see you next episode. Thanks everybody for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.